Hey, having fun, sometimes easier said than done during the holidays. You know, for a lot of people, family gatherings, they're pretty stressful. Our Un Yang is getting some advice on how to avoid any of the typical bad behavior. The holidays are a celebratory and hopeful time of the year for many families, but for some people, family gatherings can be a source of stress and conflict. Today, psychiatrist Dr. Joshua Weiner joins us to offer some tips on how to help people navigate holiday social events. Thanks for joining us. Uh, nice to see you. So in your experience, what are some of the main reasons patients have issues seeing their family over the holidays? Look, families are just stressful. Whenever I've seen surveys on this, actually the majority of people report that they feel stressed when they're around their families, especially for some of these larger gatherings. And there could be a number of different reasons that people feel stressed. The main ones really are people are just worried about how everybody's going to get along. Are the parents going to say something to your wife or your boyfriend or girlfriend or your kid's going to act in a way that's going to upset the grandparents? There's just so many emotions and everybody's kind of just worried about how everybody's going to perceive each other. The other thing I think is that the big irony here is that family tends to be the least careful about how they talk to one another compared to how they are with coworkers or friends, right? With coworkers and friends, you try to be careful, you nuance, you try to be polite and respectful. With, with family, it's like, no, I'm just going to tell you the way I see it. And that's that. I don't really care if you get upset. And it's kind of unfortunate, right? Because that leads to some hurt feelings. Absolutely. You're just more comfortable around your family sometimes. So your first tip is to set realistic expectations and stop striving for the Norman Rockwell scene. How do you do that? Well, I think you do that by just realizing that nobody's got the perfect family. Nobody's going to have the perfect holiday. We're all imperfect. And as a result of that, all our holidays and all our gatherings are going to have something that doesn't go the way we want. You just try to make the most of it. You try to think to yourself, OK, what can I also set some boundaries on? Right. I'm not going to just bake everything and try to make the house look absolutely perfect like it's in a magazine and learn how to say no. Learn how to set boundaries. Hey, I would really like to be able to do this. I know, you know, maybe speaking to your mom, for instance, I know you really want me to bring this or do this, but mom, there's just so much on my plate this year. I really can't do it. You also suggest thinking through potential stressors and how you might handle them ahead of time. Talk about how you would go about that. Yeah, I mean, look, I think we all kind of know what the push button topics might be or the things that have come up in the past that have caused some problems. So I think you just spend a few minutes ahead of time sort of talk, thinking it through yourself, maybe talking to the kids and saying, look, you know that it really upsets so-and-so when you bring these sorts of things up. Please do me a favor today. Just don't bring it up. So in some cases, you think it may be a good idea to have another family member or a friend join the party. Explain that. This is one of the most helpful things in my view. So like I said, families were just not that tactful when it comes to dealing with other family members. But if you introduce another element to that, some outside person, people just tend to be on a little bit better behavior. Yeah, a little buffer there for your holiday exactly. gatherings. All right, Dr. Joshua Weiner, thanks so much for your advice. Thank you.